23-year-old Femi Nandap, who had a history of mental health problems and was known to police. Nandap from Woolwich was arrested in May last year and charged with wielding knives in public and assaulting a police officer. He later flew to Nigeria in June for three months, missing his bail appointment in August. He appeared in court in October, but was granted bail by magistrates, despite objections from the prosecutor. On December the 23rd, the Crime Prosecution Service dropped the charges, deciding there was insufficient evidence. Six days later, he stabbed Dr. Ensink to death. Nandap has pleaded guilty to manslaughter on the grounds of diminished responsibility. But Dr. Ensink's baby daughter will never know her father and may one day ask who was responsible for his death. Three notoriously violent brothers have taken control of the doors to the city's clubs, including the legendary Hacienda, giving them a stranglehold over the drugs trade. And the money, power and prestige are leading Dominic... Set the dog on you. Desi. We've got lots of strong like, people, don't we? We'll always have that. And Damien Noonan. Oh, I know that. I'm going to train them hard. They're going to come professionals. To become one of the UK's most notorious criminal families. I've got a bigger army than the police. We've got more guns than the police, silly <laughs> bastards. <laughs> this is their story. This guy, Jimmy Daniel, he made, he made people disappear. There whole generations of families who were heroin addicts. It was almost an epidemic. I saw people getting shot in the street. I saw people getting scalped. I saw somebody getting their throat cut in the street. 